Hi, I'm Pure Nessur, and uh, we will do a series of videos about every allied race that is live at the moment. The video will include the requirements you need to unlock each race, the quests to recruit them, scenarios, cinematics, and all that good stuff. Before I forget, if you like the video, comment, like, and subscribe. That said, everything starts with a letter from Anduin. Thank you for joining us, Champion. These are dire times indeed. We all know the Alliance incurred heavy losses in the war against the Legion. And even now, the world bleeds in the aftermath of Sargeras' final strike. Meanwhile, the Horde musters its forces and arms for war. Their aggression must not go unanswered. Our future depends on bringing other like-minded allies into the fold. I call upon those of you gathered here for your suggestions. Victory on Argus was only possible because the heroes of Azeroth fought side by side with the Army of the Light. Many of our bravest soldiers gave their lives for the cause. Those who remain would be proud to join the Alliance. Among our number are brave initiates about to undertake the arduous path of becoming Lightforged. Thank you, High Exarch. Lightforged soldiers would indeed bring strength to our numbers. High King, I remember the days when my people and yours fought together against the Horde. I reached out to them in hopes of seeing Silvermoon return to the Alliance. My efforts proved futile. But I did learn of a group of Sindori who have been exiled for studying the Void as I have. If I could locate them, their knowledge might aid our cause. Stormwind has suffered at the hands of those who succumb to the Shadow's Whispers. But if others could master its power as you have, they would make formidable allies. Thank you both for your counsel. I would like to hear our champion's perspective on which of these potential allies we should reach out to first. Here we see the Void Elf's uh, Russell skills, uh, those are Spatial Rift, Entropic Embrace, Preternatural Calm, I think it's called, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, Ethereal Connection uh, and Chill of Night. Uh, you need to have two achievements. Uh, the one is you are now prepared and you have to do the storyline in Argus, I think almost every quest and be exalted with the Argusian Reach, plus you need to have pre-ordered the Battle for Azeroth expansion. My faith is my shield. For the Alliance above all. Victory in the light. A just cause is always worth fighting for. Use every weapon at your disposal. A blood elf called Umbric and his followers were banished from Silvermoon City for the exploration of void magic. An extreme solution despite their practice being forbidden. However, it appears it opens up a possibilities for the Alliance. If we can find these outcasts, we might be able to recruit them to our cause and even more importantly help them understand the void before it corrupts them. So. Farewell. Lady Windrunner, please begin the search for your exiled kin. Perhaps our champion here can assist you. We will do our best to locate them, High King. This way, champion. The Ghostlands. This was once Eversong Forest, a place of unbridled beauty. Windrunner Spire, my family home, stands not far from here. These woods once brought such joy to me and my sisters. To see them like this fills my heart with sorrow.
It is a good day for a hunt. This sanctum was once a testament to my people's mastery of the arcane. Now, it is but a ruin. Our void experiments are proceeding well. I am certain we are on the cusp of a breakthrough, despite Ramoth's small-minded protests. The Grand Magister must understand that this power is crucial to the defense of Silvermoon. Never again shall the Sindori fall prey to our enemies. Unfortunately, it seems our research has reached an impasse. I believe there is knowledge at the Andillian Estate that will springboard us forward. The Andillian Estate? Yes, I remember it. Come, champion. This place looks like it has been ransacked. But perhaps it seems Umbridge we left are not the, the first of our people seeking to harness the Void. I have found notebooks belonging to one whose very name is a curse, Darkon Drathir. It was Drathir's betrayal that allowed Arthas to corrupt the Sunwell and left our kingdom in ruins. For the first time, I see why Ramoth opposes our course of study. Nevertheless, I believe this knowledge can be used for good. The bulk of Drathir's research was conducted at Dawnstar Spire. That is where we must go. Umbric risks much. It follows in the footsteps of treachery. Let us hope this obsession has not led to his downfall. Come, we must make our way to Dawnstar Spire. This place resonates with power. Tread carefully. Uh, Classica. Umbric is a dedicated scholar, but his tenacity turned him and his followers into exiles. Drathea's quest for power led him to seek the fragments of an ancient world, one teetering on the brink of the void itself. His note said it existed within a rift in the very fabric of reality. He never found this place, but I have succeeded where he failed. The way will soon be open to us. Drathea believed this rift held an ancient object of unspeakable might. Perhaps this will be the key that allows us to gain control over the shadows. Based on these notes, I believe I can reopen the passage to this world he spoke of. Let me see. The shadows. We are ready to proceed. Stay on your guard, champion. We do not know what we might find inside. Magister Umbric, I am Illyria Windrunner. Illyria Windrunner? How did... My, what an unexpected honor. My people and I heard tales of what transpired on Argus. As you might imagine, we have a keen interest in your interaction with the Dark and Naru. Another time, perhaps. This champion and I have been searching for you. We knew of your exile from Silvermoon and felt we shared common ground. Indeed. Like you, we believe the Void can be used to defend life rather than consume it. We have made great progress, Lady Windrunner, but many mysteries remain. Take this cube, for instance. It is an ancient device, perhaps even predating life on Azeroth. 
It seems to have been locked, and we cannot yet open it. Careful, Umbric. Answers to such mysteries often come at a price. Look out! At last. The future I foresaw has come to pass. Thank you for opening the way. Show yourself! Who are you? Names are of little consequence. The more interesting question is, what shall you become? My people were reshaped by the Void, stripped of the limitations of flesh. We offer you the same gift. Resist the whispers, Umbric. This gift you offered. A minor setback. What is in motion cannot be undone. Surely you see this. There. Durzan is using those forges to draw in power. We must break his hold on Umbric's people. Do you not see what we offer? The majesty of chaos. The glory of infinite hunger. Why do you fight your destiny, Windrunner? Join me and rule by my side. I see the transformation incomplete. Must be finished. The only thing that will be finished here is you. No! Valyria, champion. My people are free, but we have been changed. And the voices... Dazan tried to tear away your mortality. To make you like him, a slave to his hunger. But your fate is still your own, Umbric. I can teach you to quiet the whispers. To make the shadows serve you, instead of you serving them. My arrogance was nearly our undoing. I dabbled with powers far beyond my control. If you will train us, Illyria, we will follow where you lead. I sense the powers at your command. They are considerable. You would make valuable allies of the Alliance. Silvermoon turned its back on us long ago. Today, we are reborn, and it is fitting that we walk a new path. From this day forth, the Alliance has our loyalty. And in turn, I pledge to aid you on your journey. Our champion and I will inform High King Rin of this news. Then I will return, so that we can begin your training. It will take some time for us to adjust to our new forms. We look forward to your return, Lady Windrunner. And Champion, you have our deepest thanks. Greetings, friend. Hi, King Rin. Our Champion and I found the Sindorai Exiles. Like me. They have been changed by the Void, but their hearts and minds remain their own. I will be their guide. I will train them to control the Whispers of Shadow. In return, they will fight for the Alliance against all its foes. It may take time for these Void Elves to earn the trust of some in our ranks, but so long as they adhere to your teachings, they are welcome in the Alliance. You have done us a great service this day, Lady Windrunner. Champion, you have my thanks. It is an honor to serve once more, High King. For the Alliance. For the Alliance! <laughs>